This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Okay, we are uh, going on our journey this week uh, and we will be uh, at uh, the final uh, segment of our program journeying with those who journeyed with President Duterte to uh, China and among uh, them is one who signed some agreements uh, and uh, ventures with uh, Chinese counterparts uh, on the agricultural front. Uh, but we're now uh, in our uh, first segment, and this is, of course, the People and Places, events relating to Asian development, Asian culture, our Asian peoples. But before I go on to that, let me introduce our guest today, uh, uh, Henry Lim. Uh, uh, I haven't memorized the Chinese name, Lim Bon Leong, bon Leong I know, uh, our uh, rice uh, tycoon who will be exporting or has been exporting rice to China. That's a surprising information. We'll have more from Henry uh, a little later on. And of course, your regular uh, baker here <laughs> of Kamuning Bakery and Kamuning Cafe, Wilson Lee Flores. But now let's go to um, the event uh, the past week at the University of Asia and the Pacific, uh, where the Hari Salahi, uh, Hari Sahari, Lahi Salahi, meaning king and emperor, and the two races uh, meeting, and this is about the Sultan of Sulu, uh, Paduka Pahala's uh, journey to China to meet the Emperor of China uh, in 1417, uh, just uh, one year short of 600 years. Next year will be the 600th anniversary of this travel, where the uh, Sultan of Sulu signed a friendship uh, treaty with uh, the Emperor of China. The Sultan of Sulu was declared by the Emperor of China the Eastern King, the King of the Eastern Seas. Uh, so our uh, President Duterte traveling to China is just a revival uh, of this uh, 1,000 years because that was the yes. declaration, 1,000 years of friendship. Mm -hmm. We now have 600 years by next year. It'll be 1,000 mm -hmm. uh, someday. Uh, so this uh, event was uh, sponsored by uh, Ambassador Jose Romero with the Cultural Center of the Philippines and our Film Academy. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, so uh, let's roll. We are uh, Journeys and GNM team covered the event. So uh, let's, uh, if we're ready, let's roll the uh, uh, clip. This is a very uh, interesting afternoon for many who are now here at the UANP uh, auditorium. And um, uh, you uh, sponsored and organized the showing of the Hari Sahari, Lahi Salahi, uh, a story about the uh, uh, visit of the Sultan of Sulu to China in 1417. This is very timely, but uh, what made you uh, put this together? Well, uh, basically, uh, to, uh, as a testament to the uh, uh, history between this, a uh, long history between this country and China, which uh, uh, started about a thousand years ago. Yes, yes. A thousand years ago. And, and it's timely because uh, at the time when we are trying to do some um, confidence building measure with China, it's important that uh, uh, we understand each other. The, this new generation, uh, the younger generation, is not very familiar with the history of China. 
So uh, this is a, a reminder to the, this generation that uh, there is a long history of uh, uh, social, political, and economic. And of course, cultural. And uh, it reminds me to ask you if you will uh, be able to bring this to the schools all over the country. Well, uh, hopefully, I'll have to work it out with uh, CCP, who owns the, uh, uh, the film. Because I think the, my brother's family uh, gave it to them for safekeeping, for preservation, because, you know, it's, it's an old film uh, produced, what, 86, so that's about 20 years ago. So, uh, and here we don't have uh, really uh, facilities to preserve uh, old films. Yeah, this was uh, produced in 1986 and started showing in 1987. 87, I think, yeah. It's commercial showing. Now, what would uh, it take to have this uh, circulated all over the country or over mass media like uh, television, for example? Yeah, I uh, maybe uh, I'll find out from uh, the CCP whether it's possible to uh, maybe digitalize this thing, come up with uh, CDs. DVDs that we can distribute to, to uh, so we, we need uh, an angel. Maybe somebody in your audience can pick this up. Uh, but also the Department of Education may be also. interested. I think uh, sec the Secretary of Education might be somebody uh, to approach. That's right, yes. Uh, yes, uh, I know Secretary Briones. Uh, this is from Dumaguete. Maybe uh, we can approach her. Uh, because also this is cultural. Okay. Your brother was the director for this film, and uh, it was really an eye-opener. And uh, now I understand why he has all these awards. Yes, he was uh, the producer and director of this film in conjunction with the uh, Chinese uh, Cultural uh, Center. Okay, so uh, what else uh, would you like to tell our uh, people uh, regarding this uh, movie? And, uh, of course, you, are in, you have been instrumental in re-establishing this uh, friendly environment with China with your uh, mission to, to China and the uh, Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs meeting you there. So uh, we have to remember that this was made in 1985. Uh, ten years after President Marcos had visited uh, uh, Chairman Mao and uh, restarted the relationship which was actually uh, uh, suspended after the uh, Second World War. Previous to that, during the days of the Kuomintang and uh, Jack Echek, uh, uh, the uh, relationship was quite close. You know, trade was, uh, and then uh, came the Second World War, then came the, uh, then the uh, communist takeover of China, and since uh, we were so much associated with the United States, and so on. So there, there was this uh, conflict of uh, political uh, ideology which separated the two countries. That was revived by President Marcos in 1975, following the, uh, uh, the revival of the relationship between the United States and uh, China. I remember uh, President Nixon uh, reestablished connections with the uh, Communist Party. So that was uh, 10 years later, uh, while the situation was warming up, uh, the China reached out to, uh, to us, uh, reached out to China, and then the uh, thing was, uh, became, uh, became more uh, intense, you know, the relationship, the exchanges, cultural, social, economic, and even political, uh, which was only derailed uh, in the last administration. I'd like to say that uh, you uh, stood uh, your ground. Uh, you were a uh, beacon of light during the period where, when the relationship between uh, the People's Republic of China and the Philippines wasn't too uh, bright. Uh, but uh, now uh, it seems that the dawn is coming with President Duterte. What would you say uh, about the um, initiatives of President Duterte? Well, the uh, President Duterte's initiative, of course, is uh, welcome by most people who, who, are, who understand the need to uh, uh, bring back on track the, the bilateral agreements, which are uh, quite, uh, quite a number, you know, recovery, cultural, social, political, uh, but uh, I must say that uh, there is need because 
the 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 um, 90 percent of Filipinos still uh, look up to the United States and uh, still do not trust the Chinese. Uh, that, that, that's this bias that has to be overcome. This relationship, because uh, when Duterte goes, and the people uh, like ourselves who understand the the situation will uh, ha have gone, what will the new generation do? So uh, um, uh, it, this need to re-educate, the re-educate the, the, this this generation and the one that are coming over, of the need to establish, uh, re-establish. Uh, relations with our our, our our very close neighbor. Okay, well, okay, uh, this initiative of yours certainly will be, I think, uh, one of the most effective. Culture and entertainment, of course, is a very good uh, conveyor of of uh, of messages. And uh, thank you very much for doing this, uh, Ambassador Romero. My pleasure. Yes. Okay, and uh, again, we have to rush this next uh, short discussion on the. Uh, China National Ballet in uh, cooperation with the Cultural Center of the Philippines, uh, which brought uh, the uh, Raise the Red Lantern. Uh, what do you call it? Is it an opera? It's a ballet performance. It's a ballet, okay. Yes. It's a ballet performance that was held at the uh, Cultural, Center. Uh, Cultural Center last Thursday and Friday. Yes, Friday. Uh, there you have some of the scenes there. Wilson Lee Flores also attended, yes, and he was there uh, also. Henry also attended. Uh, and uh, what, what would you want to say to that uh, performance? Uh, very amazing, inspiring, and this is a symbol of uh, normalizing friendship between two countries. Well, I would that like my it. family to see it, so we'll also yes. ask uh, the China National Ballet and Cultural Center to, to restage this yes, yes. and maybe bring it to Cebu, Davao, yes. Cagayan de Oro, all over the country because it, it is really a masterpiece. Uh, Roman, do you know that the director is Chang Yi Mo? Yeah, Chang Yi Mo is yes, uh, yes. the best director huh, That's in right. the world. That's yeah. right. Well, maybe next week we'll have more discussion on this uh, yes. ballet. Okay, we have to take this break now and uh, go on to our news and views from Asia.